Hi, here's a short video on creating cool collage prints on Snapfish. I pick collage prints under the prints page. Select the print size. The default is 8x10, but we offer 4x4, 4x6, 5x7, 8x8, and 8x10 sizes. Then I select the print finish. Beware that the choice of finish may impact store pickup options. If you want to pick up your collage at a store, make sure that your choice of finish is available there. By the way, I can change the size and finish later in the Builder tool as well. Let's create it! That takes me to my photos to select the photos I want in my collage. Let's select some photos and add them. Now I am in the Collage Builder with a nice collage automatically created right off the bat. This is because of the Auto Arrange feature in the Collage Builder. I don't particularly like this photo, so I remove it. Auto Arrange is in effect, so the Builder adjusts the remaining photo to generate a nice new layout. The photo that I just removed is still in the well, but since it is unused in the collage, it is unchecked. I can reuse it again if I like. Now let's add another photo from our albums. The photos I already have in the Builder show lighter than others, so I know which are in the Builder. I select an unused one and add it to the collage. I am now back in the Collage Builder with the newly added photo and a nice new layout. Here is the photo that I just added. Note that I have editing functions, such as Move, Rotate, and Crop. I can also swap a photo with another one. I can even make a photo of the background of my collage if I want. The default orientation is landscape, but I want this collage in portrait mode, so let's change it. This will rearrange the photos again. Let's now change the size to 5x7. This will also cause a rearrange. It is best to decide on the size and orientation early on in your design, since these changes impact backgrounds, text, and embellishments. I'm not so sure about the current layout, so I'm going to shuffle until I get something I like. I can always undo to go back to a previous state. Okay, I like this one. The Collage Builder also offers static layouts. If I don't like the automatically generated layouts, I can always use one of the fixed layouts from here. Now let's pick a background. There are choices of colors, textures, and patterns. I'll pick this wood pattern. Next, let's add an embellishment. I resize it and move it to where I want. It is on the top of the photos. I just have to shuffle again to come up with a clean arrangement that leaves the embellishment alone. Now I add some text to my collage. I can change the text size and font and move it wherever I like. I give my collage project a name and save it. Now I'm ready to review and buy. Let's add it to the cart. That is all. Thank you for watching.